This week we're going to do top 10 football films and documentaries. I'm going to start us off with my favourite football related film of all time. If you're under the age of 80, you've never seen it. If you're under the age of 60, you've never heard of it. But it is Escape to Victory. Sylvester Stallone as a goalkeeper. Unbelievable levels of acting from that guy because he'd never even heard of football before that film was made. The premise of the film, gentlemen, Ooh. Escape to Victory, it is what it says on the tin. A bunch of pri prison uh, allied prisoners of war uh, and the, they end up challenging the German officers and the German prison guards to a game of football. And while they're playing this game of football, the substitutes are digging a tunnel out. Escape to Victory. There we go. Football film. I've seen it. I even got. I took my copy of the DVD. Wait. And got Mike Summerby to sign it when City played in Melbourne a couple of years ago. Well, there you go then. Sylvester Stallone's in a film about football. Alex, let's go to you. What uh, is what are your favourite football-related films or documentaries? Go. I think on um, going off what Rob said, I've got something a bit closer to the old this century with um, a movie that was quite important when I was growing up. I think it was about eight or nine when it came out, and that's a uh, goal. I know some of the older generation is going to get a bit, you know, head tilted with that, but for me, it, it brings back a joy in a time when I was getting it, you know, getting into football. I was playing football, and I was going to the games, and it was just something that made, you know, made my life really happy. Yeah, it was a teenager's wet dream. It must have been amazing supporting Newcastle United like you did back then. And Real Madrid, yeah. No, I'm, I'm a Newcastle fan now. Yeah, well, yeah, you are now. Yeah, now the money's come through. Martin, <laughs> Good point. Put, put this train back on the tracks, Martin. Talk sensible. Tell us about some film or documentary city-related. For me, really good one. And it's one that I only saw a couple of years ago was the Bobby Robson one, which I thought really, really showed you Bobby Robson as a man. The late, great Sir Bobby Robson, former Newcastle manager, went into his Barcelona days, talked about his time as England manager, did a lot. You know, there was a little bit of a snippet in there about Newcastle and Manchester City as well. Funnily, when Man City went up there, if you remember when Shearer scored, I think we got beat 3-1 three, three, or something like that, uh, when Lauren Charbe was uh, with us and that Newcastle. But... It, it really did make you realise Bobby Robson as a man and what he Absolutely. meant to everyone. Rich, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Football. You can correct me if I'm wrong, Rich, but Bobby Robson was pretty much an England manager that sort of nobody had a bad word to say, right? Bobby Robson would have been everyone's choice for every job in football. Sorry, total legend, Bobby Robson. He was a um, real gentleman, you know, loved throughout the game and, and a great England manager too. In a in a good era. Mm -hmm. Ryan, hit me. Come on. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with the keeper. A uh, bit more of a recent film, only came out two or three years ago at this point. Um, but it's one that I've watched back a couple of years ago. Well, a couple. Of year, I think it was last year when I first watched it for the first time. Um, I've watched it a few times since then. I know I've it bought on Amazon and stuff, but it it's just such a a feel good film and i think it also has so much background to it that it's sort of a document well you could kind of put it in a documentary kind of style but it isn't per se it is made as a film rather than a documentary which i think is a bit different to mm -hmm. a lot of things that you could put into this list it's a wonderful um, choice ryan however there is yeah. a lot of artistic license in that but the core message and the core ethos of the film is absolutely yeah. solid to the real world events wonderful choice if not if you haven't I don't seen think you can go past yeah if you haven't seen Sorry. the keeper yet get out there and watch it mm. yeah it involves the two best thing period dramas and football i'm gonna come up with a an iconic which you're probably too young for it iconic coming of age movie that really you know, was decades ahead of its time. It was the Bend It Like Beckham, but of at least two decades earlier. And that's Gregory's Girl, yeah. Gordon Sinclair, Claire Grogan, great film. You know, I, I, I absolutely, I was about eight years old when it came out. Absolutely loved that movie. Watched it about five times. 
Almost goes without saying that Claire Grogan is perhaps one of the best looking women to ever exist. Beautiful. Gee, you like her then, Rob? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> I haven't checked her out in a few years, to be fair. But uh, yeah, yeah, excellent football Since film. 1982. Yeah, excellent. No, honestly, it's a great little feel good family film. It's a, it's a it little is. bit like a Kez or one of those Ken Loach type films. Yeah, isn't it? Kez is a real good, yeah, yeah real right. good comparison. I'm going to take it into the documentary phase here. Ooh. All or nothing, Manchester City. Come on now. No, it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. But One of the it was very contrived. The tragedy. They didn't have the footage from Old Trafford. Well, yeah. I that mean... was the one. Yeah, because they weren't allowed. You know, weren't allowing it. About that. There are... And that was the milk throwing incident. I was yeah, yeah, the milk, milk around as well. Yeah, there are there are things. The yeah, there are things that are Not omitted milk? from it. For the safety's sake, there are things that are omitted for it, but it's a wonderful, wonderful little bit of an insight into Manchester City. You're not getting all the meat off the bones on it, but still, it's brilliant. Watch it if you did haven't. Did they get that interview with you, Rob, on it? Or did that get edited out? <laughs> Which one? I've had a go at all City players over the years, so I don't know. Right. My, uh, who won to now, then? Alex? The the one I want to talk about is the, um, there's only one Jimmy Grimble. I think to be honest, uh, I think when did that come out? 2001 from memory? 2000? Yeah. Um, got magic was, boots. It, yeah. <laughs> I think it's one of the best um, city-related films. You know, not, not, not about the club, not about any real players. It's just light-hearted. And it really just emphasises, you know, what it was like pre-takeover and, you know, growing up as a City fan. And I just, yeah, I think it's a great film. So, uh, yeah, Alex... Um... Jimmy Grimble. Do you want to know a fact about Jimmy, the Jimmy Grimble film, as wonderful as it is? Rich Go on, Anthony, you're going to say. I, oh, know. I know. I think I know. Can I, can I guess it? We all know what he's going to say. It is. Tony Vaughan is, is he, the only kid. Is, yeah. He's, he's, he's the actor who played Jimmy Grimble. He's a United fan, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely ruined it. Ruined it for everybody. Although... I only found... I only, John Henshaw's I found that about a year ago. John, John Henshaw's in that film who plays a United fan, but he's a big blue in real life. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll mention as well for Sammy Yagadi, another beautiful woman. She's in that film. Martin, go. I'm going to name one that you're going to think. Some people say it's not a very good film, and I know the book caused a lot of controversy, but the damn United. Martin Sheen. I thought Martin Sheen, I think he's a fabulous actor anyway. And I tell you what, close your eyes. It's like listening to Brian Clough. It absolutely is. And, and to see it, and I know a lot of it is, is, is sort of it made bigger and better and there's bits added to it, but it really does, you know, a lot of people have said that the film is more true to life than the actual book was. I know there was a big court case and a family issue over the book, but apparently they said that the the if you would watch the film, it was more more true to the real situation than the actual book was. But I really enjoyed it. I, you know, I, I've watched so many documentaries on Brian Clough. I, I think for me, I'm going to go with the for my second one with the Greavesy documentary um, that BT put out. I don't think it was that long ago, and BT generally are pretty crap with a lot of stuff that they make but i think they do put out uh at least recently a good few documentaries that are quite good um looking back on the past in terms of football i think jimmy grease is a player that could be quite under quite underrated um for his time playing the game and i think the documentary does him a lot of a lot of justice all right rich knock us out of the park number 10 go on so, I've got two here, very quickly. I'm giving an honourable mention to Licence to Kill, where you've got a blue bond. You can't knock a Welsh city-supporting bond. So, I'll, I'll put that one in. But, for actually, the documentary, I'll say, on a more serious note, is um, the way... I think it was called Coming Home, the Leeds United documentary they put out recently. Yeah. Because unlike all the Amazon ones, they actually let you get to know the players a bit. And so you actually watched that and you felt a bit more emotionally involved in a way than watching the City or the Spurs or the other shows, which were much more, you know, pure documentaries. And I think that that actually made it, for me, more interesting to actually spend a bit of time 
get him talking about the players and their thoughts in a bit more detail. So I really enjoyed that. And Bielsa is just TV gold. He's complete fruit loop. Absolutely incredible. Do you think it's perhaps because there's less egos? Like, so I can imagine when Amazon walk into Manchester City and say we want to make a documentary behind the scenes, about five thousand contractual lawyers show up the next day. Yeah, but Leeds yeah, United. Yeah, yeah I also right. think part of the fact that it was in the Championship, I believe, at the time, I yeah, think yeah. that will um, absolutely had a lot of effect on it. Cheers, gentlemen. Fantastic as always. Alex is looking off into the middle distance. Ryan's yawning. These are all wonderful things to edit around. Thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.